Good job. Balance. Good work. From there to there. Watch. Got my hand. Boom. This way, side on. A lot of people stand like this, so I'll tell you to stand like this for balance. I think that's ridiculous. Stand side on, then your target area is not on show. Raise your right hand or your back hand up, then the front that covers your target up completely. Then just lift your front hand up there. It's awkward at first, but it becomes comfortable. And then you just push there and back. So with a jab, just there and back. Again from this way. There. And if you extend it, you just move in with it. Add an extra two, three centimeters on it. There. Always lock it. Bam. Your chin is covered by your shoulder. There. And the thing comes over the top. From that position, you can still just bend under. Boom. Back into the hook. So just a jab, boom, just practice that, balance, feel your balance, get that, and you can jab and out, jab and out, you can pull back and jab, boom, and go forward as well, to get the right, jab, you want to get extra power in it, move in, but move in the same time as you put your punch, so no giving away, this and this moves together, but don't overreach so you're too far leaning over. Gives your hip becomes square. Start and balance. Look how far it can move in range, out of range. So there's the ball, I'm out of range. I just move. Look how far that's just by moving. I'm not a balance. Just by balls on my feet, rocking. Backwards and forward. Bam. Straight through the target, elbow always locks out. Boom, boom. Straight through. So turn the swivel. But I'll do the round another day. Just work on the jab. Prove your jab, just try and get that rock. Yeah, feel the balance. You don't want to go up too far. Back. Just move your feet as well as doing it. not to give anything away by pulling it down, just touch from there, straight, and the power comes from the floor, if you want to throw it, power comes from the floor, boom, bam, you don't even have to throw it fast, just make sure the elbow locks out, boom, and then there's a little push, and it all transfers down there, and when it's upside on, and you throw the jab, it goes out the back, whether you believe it or not, try it. In different position your feet. Feel what's comfortable for you, not what the other people tell you. Sometimes I'm fighting in this position, sometimes I'm in this position, depending if I want to throw combinations or I want to get into the bobbing and weaving. This way I'm up on my toes, I'm at range, keeping it long, keeping my target off. When I'm coming in, I'm this way. And when I get you, I might open up. So I've got you and it can come across you to cut you off. Like that will bulge from what I'm teaching, which is the jab. So we'll go back to it. Bam, 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 bam. Work it. Just moving. Pivot in the foot just a little bit. Yeah, always looking over my shoulder. Down from my guard. Now, if a guy's got a good jab, swap it. Boom. Boom, bam, bam, bam. As he's coming in, you are going back, it goes out. Boom, boom, yeah, bam. Remember the counter? Bam, bam. 
I'll leave that for today.